the sexy girl.
Hey, you! This gives you a feeling. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. Good war out here, huh? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. You? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh. Like the way you move, Marisa. You make me all hot under the sky. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know, boss, when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, uh, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear! Ah, ah! Ah! Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. Time to get out of here. 
Marcus Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death. I'd better watch my step. The name he gave me, John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? I guess I'll soon find out. I have nothing against techno, trance, whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Play school for the jet set. Not really my kind of hangout. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Oh, you. Scarf, I'm gonna hear you come in. Crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you get me out of prison, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paid. Don't fuck around, man. No. Now wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't kill me. No time to waste. Gotta find Paco. Let him straight. 
straight up. I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Madison Page? What was a journalist doing here? A bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. The killer was looking for something. Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. Forty-five caliber. Forty-five caliber semi-automatic. Shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. Madison Page? She may be a witness. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? I spent most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. Paco knew the killer. That's why he was killed. Gotta go. I to think about it. The killer may have left some clues in the office. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face.
Ethan, are you all right? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Things might have worked out between us, if circumstances had been different. She's the only person I can trust, but now I have to be alone to do what I have to do. I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book?! It's true. I'm a 
journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. I, um... I think I'm starting to fall in love. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. Now we gotta find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. like a raid. What's going on? Isn't this great? Like being in a TV show. Who'd have thought it? An origami killer renting a room here. He registered under a false name but I recognized his face. Come on, what was the damn number? Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops, they're in the motel. You've got to get out of here.
on your knees, hands behind your head. Easy, pal. Nowhere to go. You're surrounded. 